So how should we go about writing our spelling program? We now know we want to have this CSV file which will contain these spellings, the US spellings and the Indian spellings. We want to read it into this fixed program which will maintain this dictionary data structure for efficiency. And we imagine that this program will repeatedly ask for a word, it will look up the spelling, if it's not there in the dictionary, it would report it as it is, but if it's there, it will use that to fix the spelling and then it will sort of loop back and ask for another word. Now, should we implement this program in C or in Python? So let me suggest an approach to you. My suggestion is to first implement this program in Python. Make use of the fact that Python allows us to do a lot of string manipulations very easily. Now, if it turns out that this program is not efficient enough, not fast enough, then we might want to consider translating it into C. But don't translate everything, because it turns out in most programs, the time is not spent evenly across the whole program. So there are specialized tools called profilers whose job is to help you identify which portions of the code are hot, meaning where in the code is the most time being spent. So there are some wonderful talks on platforms like YouTube where you can learn about profilers. In particular, there is a talk by Professor Emery Berger, which I would like to uh, reference. Uh, Professor Berger's group has produced this software called Scalene, which is a profiler that can be used for Python code. And apart from Scalene, there are many other profilers that have excellent documentation with them. So go look up uh, uh, talks on profilers, learn how to use these. This will identify the regions of the code where a lot of time is being spent. Then you can try and make algorithmic improvements to that code if possible. And if those don't work, then you can consider translating that code into C. I would suggest translating it into a simple C function. And then within your Python code, you can call that function. I'm sharing for you a couple of links. One, a blog post giving a very simple example of how you can call uh, C code from Python code. And the second link is the official documentation, which will give you some more advanced tricks. The official documentation is much harder to read, which is why I'm giving you the simple example first. So try reading up these things. I'm leaving this task incomplete here. My idea is to give you pathways to explore further on your own.